Here, here, that must mean two things. You make good decisions, and it's Patch Tuesday. Let's talk about it. Hello, everyone. I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at Trend Micro Zero Day Initiative and our Chief Patch Wrangler, coming to you from our Dallas office. As you can see today, I'm outside of the home office in the Mid-South, but here to talk about the final Patch Tuesday of 2023. And there is quite to talk about. And let's begin by talking about Apple because they patched yesterday and two of the bugs in WebKit are actually being actively exploited on older iPhones and iPads. So definitely check those out. And it's just a reminder that if at all possible, go ahead and upgrade. Go ahead and upgrade to that uh, latest OS. And if you're still running an iPhone 8, I get it. I mean, uh, I, I like my old stuff too, but it's okay. We're, we're ready to move on now. Let's talk about uh, Adobe as well, because uh, they put out over 200 CVEs worth of patches. But hang on, hang on folks, okay? About 186 of those are just cross-site scripting bugs in Experience Manager. So, okay. You know, it's good they're getting fixed, but it's not that big a deal. Uh, moving on, there really, there isn't a whole lot to talk about in the Adobe stuff. None of it is publicly known or under active attack. All of it is listed as deployment priority three. There are critical bugs, but it's open and own sort of stuff in InDesign uh, as well as Illustrator. So, hmm deploy your regular priority strength. Uh, moving on to Microsoft, we have 33 new CVEs, which is a small release. In fact, it's the smallest Microsoft release since December of 2017, which makes it really tiny. Uh, none of these are under active attack or under uh, or publicly known at the time of release. There is a third party one that's, that was publicly known, but it's an AMD thing that got fixed back in August and now it's being incorporated. We don't talk about that too much. Uh, the one bug that I that stands out to me more than anything else is this bug in MSHTML. Um, you think Internet Explorer is gone. No, it's just hiding in, in Trident and MSHTML. Uh, this is a remote code execution bug in that manifests in email. So when Outlook processes an email, even before it gets to the preview pane, just processing that email, boom, code execution. Uh, and that is pretty slick. I, I like it a lot. There's also this uh, power platform connecting spoofing vulnerability. That is a CVSS 9.6. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, this is also one where if you're running the admin center, uh, you've got to look, you may have been notified about this in November. So if you're running the uh, Microsoft admin center, check your messages, read this bulletin carefully because there's a lot of extra steps to make sure that you're notified that everything is set up right. This is the one I tag is being kind of hard to implement because you are gonna have to do some extra measures on this one. Uh, the final one is an Outlook info disclosure vulnerability. What info are they disclosing? NTLM hashes. Earlier this year, Microsoft called this type of uh, bug elevation of privilege, uh, and then it got actively exploited. Uh, either way, this is one of those that people really like to use. I link to the uh, the CISA Kev, the known exploitive, uh, the known exploit vulnerabilities, known exploited vulnerabilities. I don't know, Kevin, it's all weird. But uh, yeah, so check that out, make sure you look at it. You can see the table of everything else that we have here. Uh, like I said, just that stuff, quite a few other third party Chromium, as well as that AMD bug uh, going in there, looking at the other critical rated bugs. There's two in internet connection sharing, which it's not on by default and I don't think many people use it anymore. So, you know, compose a comment, leave it for me if you're still using ICS. But if you are using ICS, this is like really severe. I just don't think it's going to really impact that many people. Hopefully I'm correct on that. A uh, couple other bugs. Okay, this is, okay, this is a funny RCE bug to me. It's listed as remote code execution, but when you look at the CVSS, the attack vector is physical. So yeah, plugging in a USB hub uh, or USB device could result in code execution, remote, I, I don't know. There's also a, a, a Bluetooth bug that requires you to be in close physical proximity. So remote-ish, I, I don't know how remote do you need to be to be Bluetooth, but you need to be that remote for this bug. So yeah, uh, 
few EOP patches. Almost all of them just lead to system. There's nothing really uh, entertaining there. Uh, and then uh, looking at the info disclosure bugs, almost all are just dumping memory. There's nothing exciting going on there. Uh, the one in the machine learning compute instance is a little entertaining, but eh. uh, spoofing bugs, the outlook for Mac bug is interesting because it could allow you to like show an email as signed by someone it isn't actually signed by. So that's nice. The, the, the DP API bug requires a machine in the middle, um, but they don't say like, if you have a machine in the middle, what are you spoofing then? I, I assume you're spoofing some sort of encryption or, uh, you know, some other signature reliance that whatever. Um, and then there's a DNS server uh, spoofing bug. Again, they don't list what, what would be spoofed, but it's DNS. So pay attention and patch your DNS servers. Uh, and then some DOS stuff and a cross-site scripting bug in Dynamics. And that's it. That's the whole release. Hey, listen, if you've watched this far, uh, go ahead and like leave a comment on what you want to see the patch report be in 2024. I'm definitely looking at new formats, and I really appreciate all the feedback, positive, negative, whatever. I, I just like that you care enough to watch. And uh, hey, it's a it's a holiday season. Merry Christmas, Mahana Quantica, whatever you celebrate, or if you don't celebrate, have a Festivus for the rest of us. Uh, thanks for joining me on this journey. We will be back in January. I will be back at the Mid-South headquarters broadcasting from there. And until then, stay safe and may all your reboots be smooth and clean.